Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Sweet Lavender Knits podcast. My name is Christine and I'm coming to you from just outside of Toronto, Ontario in Canada. You can find me on Instagram as sweet underscore lavender one and on Ravelry as sweet lavender one. We also have a very lovely group uh, on Ravelry. It's called the Sweet Lavender Knits group. So come by, feel free to join in and uh, introduce yourself in the welcome thread. And uh, I want to welcome you to this episode. Thank you for checking me out. And if you are a new viewer, welcome and I hope you enjoy what you see. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very, very much and welcome back for uh, some more. Today is going to be a little bit of a different format uh, to the episode. It's not my usual um, knitting content, but it's um, very much fiber related. It is my uh, haul from the Toronto Knitters Frolic that happened last weekend. So when I recorded uh, the episode last weekend, I didn't really share uh, much about what I had bought. I just mentioned it and a few of you had said that it would have been lovely to see what I had gotten. And uh, yeah, sure, I, I didn't think anyone would be interested, uh, but I, I'm more than willing to share it with you. So um, that's what today's episode is going to be about. None of my knitting content. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So if you were looking for more of a regular um, knitting podcast, which this is uh, otherwise, uh, it's mostly about knitting and uh, I also like to do some crocheting, some sewing and um, uh, other crafts as I fancy them, then you uh, can check out one of my other episodes or maybe you'd come back uh, on another week to uh, see one of my other episodes. Otherwise, do stick around and uh, hopefully you'll like what you see. So, first things first, I think I've done with all of the um, intro stuff and um, just moving on to what's on the calendar. Right now we have um, the Let's Knit Cal. Thank you very, very much ladies for joining in. I am uh, super pumped about this and uh, feeling like uh, it's, you know, it's really going well because um, it's, it's really the idea behind this podcast is you are part of my knit night and that's exactly what's uh what i think we've created yes. uh, it started on april 15th and it's going all the way to july 15th um and it's for larger projects that you could knit so it doesn't have to be knitting it can be crocheting or anything else quilting sewing uh something that'll take you a long time um so it's it's just the slow uh, making process of it and um, I have opened up a chatter thread where we've been chatting a lot and I find myself chatting probably the most in there but I really really am enjoying what you guys are you know the pictures you're posting there as well as the updates and I I really enjoy it and congratulations to um, the few of you that are uh, starting on this journey of garment knitting um there are a few firsts like first tops for sweaters um jumpers so yes it is super excited that uh you know um all of that is happening uh in our group so that's really nice um i've also opened up a, a fo thread or finished objects thread for the cal so uh do post your pictures in there when you finish them uh, there's also the operation whip control uh that's a thread that i started last week after uh the episode uh just to just to have a place where we can list all our outstanding uh, projects and uh, you know be able to check them off as we're doing them so one of the things I told myself with which I didn't mention last week and really this is not a rule or anything it's just something that I uh, want to do for myself um, and that is if uh, to be casting on a project when one is done so um, the idea is to 
get over the um, projects that are in progress. Uh, but it isn't to say that that's the only thing that you have to work on. And if you do want to really cast on something, go ahead. You know, it shouldn't be so much of a pressure, but it's nice to get things off the needles as well. So, um, what I will be doing, the first thing I am working on is my Vittori socks, which is uh, a work in progress. And um, as soon as I'm done with those socks is when I will cast on another pair of socks. And um, I hope that makes sense. So uh, when I finish a sweater is when I'll be casting on another sweater. Uh, or if I have a shawl and I want to cast on another shawl, I'll finish the one I have, then I cast on another one. So that way at least you have something to work towards and you get a finished object in, in the process. Hope that makes sense. So uh, having said that, yeah, those are the things going on in the group. So do come by and join. I did not say today is Sunday. It was a very nice day, but all of a sudden the sun's gone when I started filming. Uh, so hope, hopefully this is okay. And it is uh, Sunday, May the 6th. And uh, yes, um, I should have said that on at the top of the episode. All right, so on to um, the haul. I think that's what you're here for. Oh, but before that, just let me mention that um, what I have been working on, I uh, don't have any finished objects to show you, and I didn't want to really get into the knitting content as much, but very quickly, it's the Vittori socks, which has been my uh, train knitting, and uh, the Zweig sweater that's been my uh, knitting when I get home in the evenings. And that's basically what I've been doing all week. So, uh, all right, let me just show you the first um, about the haul. It was the Toronto Frolic that I went to last weekend. And I got myself some goodies from there. So, three bags of it. And... Um, the first bag we'll go through is this one here from the Purple Pearl. And this is a local yarn shop in Toronto that um, has a very nice selection of yarn. They have um, lots of uh, fiber related things like I think they even have spinning wheels and things like that. Um, lots of books. Uh, they have they put out classes if I didn't mention that already and um, They have knit nights as well None of uh, I've never been to a knit night there or I've I think I've visited the store just once and that's it. It's uh, downtown Toronto however um, I don't live in Toronto City itself so for me to make it to the yarn store uh, it's a little out of my way and um, so I just catch them at these uh, knitting uh, festivals and it uh, works out really well so first off let me show you uh, I only picked up a few things from them not too many but uh, I always like to try and pick up party of five by sweet Georgia yarns and this one is uh, colorway called sweet salt so, sorry salt water taffy and uh, the different colors I'm just gonna put the bag down the different colors have um, names to them so this one is peony grapefruit uh, lemon curd um, melon there so you don't <laughs> there that's melon and then this is glacier so I think I'm thinking like a snow cone wow it's really nice and it's on their uh, tough love sock base and each of these skeins are 28 grams which is 105 yards or 96 meters and it is a blend of 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon I have a few of these and it is a little bit of a splurge to me but uh, this the skeins are a nice size it's a 28 gr gram skein and they work out perfect for um heels toes and cuffs on socks and whatever else i'll be whatever else is left of it i'll be 
uh, putting into my uh, one of my blankets either the granny stripe blanket or the cozy memory square blanket so uh, that's the first thing that I got and uh, this next thing was a, another little splurge and uh, the reason I picked these up is because they had a really nice discount on it and I wanted to I just wanted to feel this yarn. It was beautiful. It's the Shibui or Shibui um, knits. I don't know how I'm, if I'm saying it right, but um, they have different uh, bases. And I went and was. I really wanted to get the mohair to go with it, but these are only 25 gram skeins. No, I'm wrong. It's 50 grams. 50 grams and a very, very extra fine, um, I'm trying to see, oh, it's, they call it sport weight, but I don't think it is. It looks like a very thin sport weight, if that's, that is sport, I would say a fingering, but um, yeah, and it is uh, 50 grams, 262 yards. And the color is velvet and it's 100% extra fine merino. Oh my gosh. It is. I love this color. It's a very dark purple. If you can see, it's a dark plum, maybe. Plum. And I wish you could touch it. It's so soft. So obviously, the cloud uh, and the. Um, uh, mohair is very 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 soft but this was soft this is very very soft and almost half the price so I thought I'd settle for these and I don't you know like this was not this was an impulse buy and uh, like I said I only picked it up because um, the 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 discount was a it was good enough and I was like okay I'm not gonna be buying it at full price so I might as well try it out at the discount so that's that's the second thing I have not decided what I want to use it for but I'm thinking if it's this soft it's got to be a shawl it's got to be something where I, I'll, I'll be able to feel the yarn and uh, you know enjoy it that way so yes two two skeins of that so 100 grams i didn't i didn't know i thought it was 25 grams anyway so the next thing is this uh, little kit that i got it's also by shabri uh, knits and it's the bias before and after scarf kit um and uh here's the scarf and the pattern is uh, available on ravelry as well but the reason i bought it is not for the scarf uh, not to make the scarf although the scarf could be fun uh, is more to use as little mini skeins and these are it's fine fine yarn and you can see that there's a cream a oatmeal kind of color a beigey gray a light gray and a dark brown oh my eyes are tricking me is it dark brown or is it a, that deep purple again? Yeah, it's, it is that deep purple again. I, there you go. So deep purple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I got from uh, the Purple Pearl. I won't be mentioning all of the vendors. I'll tell you why. Is because I took out all of these um, things to put together for a picture for Instagram to show my, you know, to, to take a picture of my haul. And then when I went to put them back, I didn't put them back into the same bags. I couldn't remember which bags it came out of. So um, I remember who I got it from, but not by name. So I'm not going to be mentioning the vendors unless I know them for sure. Okay. And uh, okay, this one I do know because she's nicely tucked it behind here it's from Grand River yarns and it is mohair so I have um, this is now I'm going into the second bag so yeah 
It's Grand River Yarns and they're in Stony Creek in Ontario also. And it, this is 44% uh, merino, 44% mohair, and it's got 12% of nylon. It's 100 gra grams, and uh, it was quite a large skein. It is a sort of like a pinky beige fleshy color. <laughs> Not very attractive when I say it like that, but uh, I thought it'll be nice. And uh, it's a little prickly. It's a little prickly. Uh, but this was the first skein of mohair I picked up, thinking, you know, because it was one of the things on my list, and thinking that uh, I should have checked out everything before I did. So this is one that I'm not too sure about, but anyways, I have it, and uh, maybe I'll use it as practice before I actually use something else but um, the lady who I was speaking with th did say that if I made a nice shawl with this just this uh, yarn the one skein I could make like a really large triangular shawl and it'll be very airy very light and a beautiful summer cover-up so um, I'll see if that works out and I'll let you know that was the first thing. Okay, so the next thing, let's see. Sorry for the noise. Okay, this was another uh, I think it's called the Needle Emporium, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, where I picked up uh, a skein of Riverside Studios. So their yarn is uh, pretty popular and this is on their super sock base which is uh, superwash merino and nylon mm, and it is 100 grams uh, and it is called in the colorway is called dusk and it's just like a gray with a little bit of purple in it a bluish purple it's showing up as purple but it's sort of a bluish purple um, and I thought it'll just make for good socks, you know, and it'll be a very neutral color um, so it could be um, You know worn to work or it could be for one of the boys at home um, So we'll see But it's going to be socks. and That's what that is. Okay, so this I picked up from another vendor and she has an alpaca farm and we had a very very nice conversation and um, so she had some mohair on her in her little uh, clearance basket so I had to pick them up too and I hope it's okay to use because it looks slightly felted so I'm not sure but I thought you know what I can't go wrong because it's it's a light pink and I know it doesn't show well on the screen. Yeah, it's just showing as white, but it's a very, very light uh, blush pink. And then there's this, it's got a little bit of a shine to it. And this is Concept by Katia, and um, it's the Alpaca Silver, which is 73% alpaca and 20% polyamide. So, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fluffy and I don't know what I'm going to use it for, <laughs> but I thought I would use it to blend in with something else and just kind of create a very uh, fluffy, uh, you know, looking more delicate looking fabric. And yes, same with this. So, okay. And then I suddenly got cut off in mid sentence there. So let me just go back. So this one here where the messy looking <laughs> skein is um, Claire by Bremont and uh, it is 74% alpaca and 26% silk. So it is really, really soft guys. And um, it is nice. So yes, I'm thinking of using them uh, together. Well, not together, but um, held with something else uh, for hats not in the same hat obviously but two different hats and I'll see how that goes because I really like the look of um, some of the projects that others had made with mohair uh, in there and I thought I'd give that a try so yes those that's what that's gonna be 
now and then from the same vendor um, I picked up this was a splurge it is uh, the first skein that I have of camel so it is Emily blue thumb whoops you can't see that there we go Emily blue thumb and it is 70% uh, silk and 30% camel I'm just gonna look for a colorway name it's 150 grams and which is 500 yards I don't see a colorway on it so it is a nice big skein and it is lovely it is so nice and the, I like the color it's very dark grayish brown it's like a chocolate brown with gray in it and uh, it is maybe three ply yeah oh it's two ply it's two ply and it's a fingering weight it is super super soft and it uh and can you see that lovely shine to it it's got a nice shine not shine sheen <laughs> sheen to it and it's really really nice so yes this is going to be a shawl it's it's, it's 150 grams i probably um do just a shawl all in one color for this uh but definitely something i want to wear ne near my skin it's just it's really really nice and soft so that was uh in the second bag i think i covered everything oh wait one more thing and then from another vendor i picked up a pom-pom nothing much to tell you there but it's just one of those furry pom-poms this is full fur um they did have the real fur as well but i didn't feel good about taking it so i went with the full fur okay, and the good part about this is that it has a little uh stud like thing on the bottom it's like an eyelet uh, and it's this part that you would sew onto your hat and if you sew it on tight enough when you you can take the pom-pom off when you need to wash the hat I thought that was really neat and uh, I am not a much of a pom-pom wearer although I do wear hats in the winter time but I'm just gonna put that back on there and it clips on so it's really really handy there you can see it uh, but I think if I had one of these on the top of uh, the hat it I think it'll look really nice I'm thinking it should go on the hat that um, oh I don't know now I'm, no I should I, I have 50 grams of it I was thinking I, I only had uh, 25 each of those Shibu, shibui uh, skeins of the uh, birch um, that I got the, the dark purple um, plum the dark plum, plum and, I, and I was thinking of doing a hat in that no but I think I want to show all that we'll see I might change my mind but that's a pom pom that I got anyway so that was bag two and uh, just moving along quite quickly here is uh then uh, it was in a little loungy area that they had and there was somebody who had set up a little uh stall there and um and they had a lot of knickknacks uh, a lot of um if you wanted to just pick up some ma older magazines um knitting magazines um, well not not just knitting but crocheting sewing crafting I should say crafting magazines um, some uh, needles assortment of needles and needle cases and um, things and so I thought I would uh, pick up a few goodies for our giveaway as part of our giveaway and uh, I picked up these two measuring tapes we can always use measuring tapes right so here's one with the sunflower in it and a little another square one. It's got the pull uh, on there. So does this. That's hidden there. <laughs> and uh, then some stitch markers. And uh, these I really, I really like them. They're nice glass bubble ones. 
these are nice glass bubble ones um, and uh, there are five of them on here if I hold them like that you can see and I think this one is my favorite because it looks it's well, obviously it's got the pinks in it <laughs> but um, yeah it's a little different from the others so those are mine and I'm not very good at showing these or am I so that's one set of stitch markers and then this is another and these are little frogs they were very very cute I couldn't resist so here we go and there are five four of those as well so I thought I could just you know throw them in um, for the prizes now on to the third bag and uh, this one's a little noisy so sorry about that but it's a skein of Malabrigo two skeins actually and it is a uh, worsted weight and uh, it's on the um, colorway called Pollen, which is really nice. It's a nice light uh, yellow, like a, almost like a butter yellow. And uh, it is kettle dyed pure merino wool. I'm trying to find uh, the other label is probably in there where it tells you. Um, yeah, and I didn't want to open it up. So this is going to be one of the prizes. Uh, for the uh, cow and I will find something else for the other one um, yes and it's color colorway 19 so I hope you can see that there if I hold it back here you can see it's a nice it's a nice summery yellow and uh, it's worsted weight and there are two two skeins of it so that's gonna be one of the prices and Okay, I'll put it away very quickly because it is very noisy. <laughs> All right, the next one it is from Swe Oh Sweater Knits uh, Yarn Flowers. Oh, yeah, it's by Sweater Knits, and I got this little uh, package uh, where I picked up a few balls of their uh, mohair. It's seventy percent kid mohair and thirty percent silk again very very soft and this I can actually put it against my skin and it is very soft and it's the silk whisper yarn it's it's done by them so she dyes them up and uh, both uh, her and her husband were there and uh, uh, my husband who had come along with me um, it was nice that there were some guys there so he was chatting with them so anyways I got two skeins of these because um, I just like the color and it was mohair and yes I picked it up I, I don't see any colorway names on them there are 220 yards and 25 grams each of these and then two skeins of this color now it's showing up as a very red on the screen I'm not sure if that's what you see but it's more like a raspberry red and uh, yes it's the same I'm trying to see if it has a different colorway name somewhere no it doesn't no colorway name but yeah it's like a raspberry red and I thought if I mixed it uh, with a you know a light yarn it'll just give it that little playful bit of uh, a color in it a blush color maybe not blush but rouge color in it which would be nice so he was nice enough to also throw in a pattern for me and it is the um, silk whisper glitter wrapper or scarf and um, yeah it has a quick pattern on the back there that um, I got for free so that was nice and then oh, there's more stuff in here <laughs> okay let me put it together okay so there was this other vendor and uh, she I don't know if this is from their farm itself but she had another she had an alpaca farm as well and I got, I got, I 
all this from her. Uh, this is fine alpaca yarn and it's Humming Hill alpaca, Alpacas uh, and it is 70% alpaca, 20% wool and 10% nylon and it's a little rustic but it feels nice too like it's it it's a slightly you know prickly but i i am sure i can wear it near my skin i didn't have a plan for this <laughs> i took it because it i just did because of the color maybe i don't know i didn't have a plan for this but it is more on the fine side of fingering so I'm thinking I can make um, a top with it. Uh, I know alpaca stretches like crazy, so something like maybe a vest top uh, with no sleeves and something where I could just wear it over a t-shirt or something like that. And um, so it'll be like very loose and airy and um, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking because I only have the one skein, skein it's 100 grams and um, they call it sock yarn but I think it's more, it's uh, on the finer side of sock yarn. So yeah, I didn't really have a plan for that. And then next, this, I, I think the plum color was just the color for me this, this time because I've gone towards the pinks the more you know with pinks is not uh, unusual for me but it's just um that's what i've gravitated towards for this time uh this is also by humming hill alpacas and uh again um it's just another skein maybe you know what this is a it's a lot thicker but if i use these together that looks nice too doesn't it that does I think I could do with both of them together and uh, oh her name was Elspeth um, yes and they're from Orangeville oh that's so nice that I do have I do have a card here which is really really nice because I thought I wouldn't get that okay 100 grams skein and it's a three ply and it's on the colorway is woody it's 65% alpaca and 35% wool so it's a little different from this one here it does not have any nylon in it um, yeah and I'm thinking it'll go very well if I just use them together this one doesn't have a colorway maybe the tag got lost or fell off something but yeah, I think they go together. This is turning out to be a, another ramble, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. But these were very, very intentional. There are two skeins of it. And these were the last two that she had. And I just told her I had to take both. And um, she was glad that I did. <laughs> uh, it's 100% alpaca. There are 200 yards, they're 50 grams each, and I'm just trying to see if there is a colorway. I don't see it. I think it's just natural. It's natural. Um, it's just a very light cream, and it is soft as ever. Just so, so soft, and these are going to be baby knits. I saw little tiny um vests or little short sleeve sweater kind of things um, and a hat uh, so two things made out of one of these skeins and it looked really nice so i have two babies to knit for and if if it has to go to one baby both of them i will do that because it's really worth worth it to knit on this i will enjoy knitting it and i'm sure the baby will enjoy wearing it too it is ab it's so so soft it's really really soft and um baby's mommy is just gonna have to hand wash them i know i like to give like uh easy to wash uh, <laughs> knits to them but i really want to knit baby baby stuff on this it's it's so so soft it's got to be baby knits my last um 
purchase was at a Little Red Kettle Head. And I love going into her booth. I did last year as well. And she is just the most friendly person ever. I believe her name's Paula. And uh, Paula, if you are watching, I love visiting your booth because you're so friendly, you're so pleasant. And you know what? Uh, she just lets you browse through everything. And uh, she has a very nice selection of her hand, hand dyed yarn. I got some last year and I loved knitting on them. Hers are really nice um, colors. Like there's a wide selection of colors. And um, this year I was very um, set on picking up uh, this dark blue. It's a very, very dark blue. So let me tell you a little bit yeah, before, before I go, keep going on about it. Um, the color is Admiral and um, it is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. It is 50 grams and that is 211 meters or 231 yards. And uh, it is uh, on her fine foot 50 base. It's a very dark blue and I'm thinking I should be okay with this, but if not, I will probably, you know, get another skein from, um, from her. And if you remember my uh, purchases from the Pittsburgh uh, Knitting Festival, I got these two skeins of Yak. And I thought if I, uh, this is not yak, uh, like I said, it's a merino. Uh, but if I were to put the three colors together, I think that'll be really nice. What do you guys think? I like that together. And I think these two work very well, but if I could just stripe it maybe once in a while. And um, I am um, think I've, I've got this pattern in my head that I want to try and knit up, so... Um, yeah, and I'm thinking 50 grams should be okay, but if not, then I will get another skein and it, it won't really matter if it's a different dye lot. So yes, that is a shawl. It's going to be a shawl and uh, this is going to work very well in there. That is it, people. I really, really had fun at the Toronto Frolic, like I said. It was... Um, Fun in the sense that um, I think I had built up a lot of uh, um, apprehension or just feeling a little uncomfortable having to go to it by myself. But because my husband came with me, I was uh, very relaxed and uh, just uh, it wasn't as crowded as it was last year, which meant that I had more time to actually spend uh, chatting with some of the vendors and just taking my time going through with um, the stalls. And uh, there was this one stall that I was looking out for and um, sadly she wasn't there this year. It was... Um, I forget what she's called, but uh, she has pottery and her mugs are really, really nice. Um, I was, she, I, it was on my list, but she wasn't there. So maybe I'll catch her at another knitting festival. But yes, that was it. That was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, looking through all of that. And if you have suggestions on the yarn um, where I seemed like I was a little not sure about it, or if you uh, you know thought that I could um, maybe use um, the yarn in a different way then do let me know uh, because um, yeah all like this uh, especially the mohair is new to me I've never knit with mohair I've never knit with camel and I've not knit with yak yeah just let me know post your comments down below and um, I am super, super thankful to you guys for your lovely, lovely comments, your feedback. I really appreciate it. And uh, it really makes my knit night uh, seem like uh, I'm coming and sharing and then, you know, finding out what you guys are up to as well. So that is exactly what I wanted to do with this podcast and you making my dream come true. So thank you very, very much for that. 
Um, so next week it'll be the regular podcast again and hopefully I'll have some knitting to show you <laughs> and um, I hope you are enjoying your weekend and uh, yes so we'll catch you the next time thanks again for watching guys and until next time happy knitting bye bye